the main event. That's the one. Yes. Mm-hmm. But some some places list it as Saturday night's main event. I don't think it is. I think it's the main event, right? No, definitely it was the main event. If you're looking for it on Peacock, it's under the Saturday night's main event banner, the brand, I suppose. But it's the main event. But it is the main event. Yes, this aired in prime time, which last time I checked is not 12.30 p.m. or whatever the old ones aired at. (laughs) But yes... This show was uh, something else, let me tell you. It was a uh, rather famous show because it's setting up that WrestleMania main event with Hulk Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter built around the Gulf War and Sergeant Mm -hmm. Slaughter being a defector and winning the title from the Ultimate Warrior with Adnan, General Adnan L. Casey as his manager. I had a lot to say about this, believe it or not. Hmm. Yeah. But let's begin. The first thing we see is Hulk Hogan on a USO tour, greeting troops around probably the world, but definitely the country. He's got these Stars and Stripes bandana on now, dumping the old Hulkamania bandana. The commentary team is Vince McMahon and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Have we mentioned Roddy's penchant for layering buttoned-up shirts? Yes. Rather than having both shirts unbuttoned to the waist. Like no. The very, right. bottom is, the very bottom is buttoned on both shirts. And then tucked into the waist, and there's sleeves rolled up. It's a very hot rod look for sure. Mm. They run down the card for tonight's show, opening with the Legion of Doom versus the Orient Express, which gives Roddy Piper an excuse to make a joke about rice and fish. That was the story of this match: it was uh, sushi versus steak and potatoes, and as we'll get to later, cars as well. Also on the show, Sergeant Slaughter defends the WWF Championship for the first and maybe last time, Vince implies, or suggests, or says, as he faces Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And finally, Hulk Hogan and Tugboat versus the Earthquake and Dino Bravo. When I saw this lineup, I thought this was that show that I must have watched a million times as a kid, and uh, upon further review, this was definitely not it. I remember seeing this show, but I did not watch this show more than once. Very, very well, I, forgettable show. I was certain this show was going to open with the Hulk Hogan promo because it's main event and it's Hogan's on there. But no, it opens with a match. Hulk Hogan and Tugboat versus the Earthquake and Dino Bravo. So they had a very, very basic, very, very formulaic, but pretty well done tag team match helped out by the fact this crowd loved everything Hulk Hogan did. The heat was insane for very basic things. They got the heat on Tugboat. When he started making mini comeback and Piper was begging him to beg out, they whacked him with a megaphone. There's a bunch of of great tag teases. So here's the finish. Actually, before we get to the finish, one note on Earthquake that we don't talk about enough. The best move in this guy's arsenal was the jumping front kick to the belly. I don't know why this 400-pound man felt the need to jump in the air to kick guys in the gut, but he did, and it's awesome. So he's got Typhoon laid out. He's going for the big butt splash of death. He hits the ropes, but Hogan comes in without a tag and hits the Axe Bomber to break up the Earthquake Splash. This sets up the double hot tag to Bravo and Hogan, and here is everything that happened after that. Hogan punched Dino once. Hogan punched Dino twice. Hogan punched Dino three times. He whipped him in for the big boot. And when Dino turned around to sell the big boot, Hogan schoolboyed him and won. It was technical wizard Hulk Hogan here. (laughs) Bro, you know sometimes we watch these Saturday Night's main events and I enjoy the show and then you guys tell me how shitty the show was and I'm not sure what show anyone was watching. Sure. I feel exactly the opposite of that right now. A well-executed match you described this as. I enjoyed it. I thought this match fucking sucked. Wow. God, this was horrible. Dino Bravo, I mean, God bless everybody here, but of course Dino Bravo's passed away, as has Earthquake. Uh, Tugboat and Hulk Hogan are still around. And uh, this wrestling was just appalling. It was just terrible. And, I mean, the fans, like, they were into Hogan and everything like that, but it was also a taped show. There's probably tons of crowd sweetening. I mean, Probably. You, you could watch this show. I mean, obviously hindsight's twenty twenty, 
But okay, we know where they're going. They're going with Hulk Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter for the title at WrestleMania. You could watch this show and see exactly what was on Vince's mind. We got to get Hulk Hogan a win. We got to get Hulk Hogan over. We got to get Sergeant Slaughter a win. But what a fucking shitty win that was. I'll get to that later. Actually, they, they didn't, but go ahead. Whatever. I mean, he got his. He didn't even get his hand raised. But anyway, he was on the show, and he was a heel. And then, like, they're so blatant about it that they go, later on in the program, we will be joined by WWF President Jack Tunney, and he will alert us who is going to face Sergeant Slaughter for the title at WrestleMania. And they're like, yeah, you know, Sergeant Slaughter promised Randy Macho Man Savage he was number one there. But Hulk Hogan never got a rematch a year ago. And, of course, Hacksaw Jim Duggan has results of tonight. He deserves a rematch. And uh, there was another guy as well, but it doesn't matter. Macho King. Macho King. No, Macho was the one that Hogan, that Sergeant had promised the title match. Uh, there it was, was Warrior. Warrior. Warrior was owed a rematch. Yeah. So, anyway, then at the end of the show, they go, coming up next. This is what they say going to the commercial. Coming up next, Jack Tunney is going to tell us who will face Sergeant Slaughter at WrestleMania. We will also hear from Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I, I missed that detail. So it's all, I mean, this is abundantly clear from day one. So anyway, obviously they need to get Hulk Hogan to win. I was surprised because I've watched this shit for so long. I, I, I thought for sure that Hulk Hogan was just going to pin the earthquake because we got to beat a giant as yes. we head towards WrestleMania. Instead, he pins Dino Bravo, not even with a leg drop, with a roll up in a match that was very bad. I mean, Earthquake is he is pretty good, and Hogan was a good baby face. Tugboat was no good at all. Dino Bravo was no good at all. The match goes on for five fucking hours. I'm like, get on with it. Like, raise Hulk Hogan's hand. Can we get this fucking shit over with? It goes on and on and on. And they they beat up the heels for an hour. Then they get the heat on Tugboat. Like, who the fuck can care about getting the heat on a guy who's 500 pounds? It's impossible. And he gives Hogan the tag. We get two spots and a fucking roll-up. And God bless, you know, Bravo. He's so muscle-bound, like mm -hmm. legitimately muscle-bound, you can't even roll him up. He just tilts up vertically on his shoulders. His whole body's perfectly straight. I was like, fuck me. This was horrible. This is horrible. And then I come on here, and number one, you're late. And then number two, you try to tell me it was a good match. I'm not sure which was the bigger rib. I guess I'm somewhere in the middle. I thought the match was fine-ish. Fine-ish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fine-ish. Was... As in shit-ish. Okay. Um, you mentioned crowd sweetening. Are you kidding me? The fans are going nuts when Hogan comes out. They're they're on their feet, pumping their fists in the air, screaming. The the sound does not change at all when all these fans sit back down. I yes, see. yeah. Did you know that crowd sweetening was invented in the Thunderdome? And it's a <laughs> scandal that I have not mentioned the crowd sweetening on Raw of late. Huh. Fuck me, dude! I've been watching crowd sweetening for thirty five fucking years, and it probably goes back further than that. Now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's a scandal that they're sweetening the crowd on Raw. Get with the fucking picture, people. Your uh, biggest fan says, Vinny's Intangibles. <laughs> this should be good. Vinny's Intangibles is that his is intelligent, inspirational, and great will. Brian's Intangibles are, Lord. he is a whining, comma, anger, comma, and his genetically jackhammer. Not everyone's a gifted essayist, gifted linguist. We all have our strengths. We're not all wordsmiths out there. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.